Have you ever looked at the NVIDIA control panel and thought to yourself, what the hell should I put thread optimization to? On, off, or default? Well, in today's video, that's exactly what I'm gonna be exploring. So sit down, strap in, let's go. And then a last note before we get started, if you haven't subscribed as of yet and you find this content helpful, please consider subscribing at the end of the video. And then to my current subscribers, uh, if you enjoy my content and you have the means, please consider hitting that join button and becoming a channel member. It will really, really help my cause. But let's get to it. Do you know what happens when you don't do your own testing and you make assumptions? You get things wrong. So guys, that's what I'm gonna say. Since starting my channel, I've noticed this second mistake and I want to point it out today. I didn't do my own testing on thread optimization in the NVIDIA control panel. It's actually this setting over here, thread optimization. So I didn't do testing on this and I suggested you guys put it on. I don't recommend that anymore and I'll show you why. So you have it here. Apologies for my mistake, rectifying it now. So when I go to my results, all my games are tested at medium settings where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 is available. I use a quality setting with the exception of Returnal. My computer is underspecced for Returnal, so I use the low setting preset with the FSR set to balance. As well as Resident Evil 4, the, the presets are a little bit weird, so I use a combination of high, medium, and low with FSR set to quality. But other than that, all my games are single player, open world, offline. I don't have any online multiplayers on my computer, so I don't test for that. Um, this is, I, I have, my computer's geared to, to open world, single player, offline games. I have a GTX card in my laptop, not an RTX platform, so your mileage might vary. And I'm testing on the latest NVIDIA driver, 531.79. So guys, previously, thread optimization, I used to recommend switching it on. And at first looks, you'd think that's probably a good recommendation. Because I add up all my average FPSs, over 10 games, I get 699, divided by 10, and my average FPS per game is 69.9. And when I divide the, uh, add up all the 1% lows, I get to a total 1% low of 534, divided by 10, so my average 1% low per game is 53.4. When I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, my stability with threaded optimization set to on is 76.39. Not bad, you'd think. Wait. When I did the same, I put it off and I restarted my computer. Over the 10 games, my total FPS was 698, divided by 10, and my average FPS per game was 69.8. So not much difference there, but here's the money shot. When I added up all my 1% lows, I got to a total 1% low over 10 games of 541. So you can see there's quite a significant jump. Divided by 10, and then my average 1% low per game is 54.1. So when I divide the 1% low by the average FPS, it gives me a stability percentage of 77.51%. So guys, as you can see, Threaded optimization off gives you much better results than threaded optimization on. It was a mistake of mine, won't repeat it. And then lastly, we get to auto. Uh, long story short, it's slightly less stable than off, but it is more stable than on. But if you want my recommendation, I recommend in the NVIDIA control panel, threaded optimization, don't do what I said previously, put it off and put it on. Anyways guys, that's today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you're still watching and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. Guys, for those of you that are already subscribed, if you wanna offer me some support and I'd much appreciate it, please consider a, a reaching out and hitting that join button. Other than that guys, people like you enjoy the rest of your day cheers mm -hmm.